Hello YouTube, Dylan here, the teacher of Dylan's Magic School, and today I'm going to be doing a card trick for you guys. Yep, using these bicycle cards. Um, kind of messed up, but um, so yeah, this is my sixth video. Yeah, it's my sixth. So um, yeah. Um, let's get on to the trick. Okay, YouTube, so, um, here's the trick. So, basically, pick any card you want out of this whole entire deck. Well, since you can't really pick a card, I'm just going to pick any random card. Let's just say this one. Okay? Get a good look at the card. Okay. See the card? Okay, I, I honestly did not see it. Okay. I'm going to put it in the deck. That's about in the middle, right? Now, before your very eyes, I'm, right before your very eyes, I'm going to flip the whole entire deck over, okay? You ready? Sorry. Sometimes the top one doesn't flip. So as you can see, the whole entire deck has um, flipped over, except um, one card. Usually, they all flip, but I saw something odd while I was flipping. There might be something, there might be one card that's actually um, not flipped in here. Wait a second. Was this your card? Okay, so, um, that was a very cool trick. Flip the whole deck over just by going like that. And then, um, your card was the only one that was actually not flipped over. Except it wasn't the Queen of Hearts. Okay, so, how I did this trick is very simple. You're going to need a little bit of a setup, but, um, other, other than that, you don't need anything besides just cards you can basically do this anywhere like you just need to go to your local target or walmart or wherever and just buy this deck of cards any anywhere you want basically you can buy cards so you could if you're a magician like street magician you could just have them in your pocket like while you're walking like people think it's your phone but you pull it out you want to see magic they say um, can you do a magic trick for me, like, if you're a pro magician or anything? And you'd be like, oh, sure, um, so you can just grab it right out of your pocket and you're ready to go. Except, there is a little bit of a setup. You may think this is pretty dumb, except this is all you need to do. Take this card and flip it over. Just take the second card, pull off the very first one, and flip over the second one. Okay, so it's like this. Every card is facing one direction, except for the second card. So you're just going to be talking to them, whatever, distracting them, then just pull it up, flip it, and put the other card on top. That's how easy it is. So once you got this, you want to show them all your cards like this, except be careful not to flash the second card. The good thing about these is they have the white outline, so you can pretty much do it about to there. So they won't really notice. So you go like this, they say pick a card, you can do this to an actual person. So let's say they just, for instance, pick the two of hearts. So while they're looking at their card, I'm just going to put this off to the side like they're looking. You secretly, since the second card isn't flipped over, this is the tricky part you take the first card you flip the deck over so the second card is the only one that's not facing towards the other person so you're just gonna have it like this just a normal deck you take the first card and just flip it over then put it on the back so it's like this so every card is just facing that way, except for the first card. And then 
the second card is going to be facing the same way as the first card because you previously had it flipped over. So it's going to look like this. But then all the other cards are going to be facing this way. So once you have your top and your bottom card um, facing the opposite directions, you want to tell them to just put their card in fairly around the middle because it makes it easier. So you just want to do this. And then you want to do this thing, I believe it's called dribbling. It goes like this. So, wait, you may be wondering, wait, how do I flip over the top one and the bottom one when I go like this? Because when you go like this, they're going to believe that they're all flipping over. But really, the top one and the bottom one aren't flipping over. So, right before you do it, you just want to flip the bottom one super quick, just like that. So you have them facing the same way, but don't show them the bottom. Then you just want to dribble the cards like this, like they're flipping over. Then you get to the top one, like this. You just want to go whoop, super quick. So it's like dribbling, dribbling, whoop. You just flip it over super quick. So after that's done, every single card's going to be flipped over because you took the bottom one like that. Then you took the top one and then flipped it over like that. So you're dribbling, whoop. So it looks like all the cards are flipping over, but really only the top one is. So you look through the cards, but since they put their card in like this, and these two were facing that way, created the illusion that they're putting their card in the right way, but really, they were putting it in the opposite way of the deck. So you flip over the bottom one and the top one. So the cards are all facing the same way, except for your card, which is going to be around here somewhere. There you go. And, um, two of hearts. Oh, yep. So that was the, um, trick, the, um, reverse the deck over to, um, find your card trick. That's what I call it. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. This has been Dylan the Magic School at episode tutorial um number six i believe and um yeah so it was the um revert um find the um, your card by reversing the card deck trick and stay tuned for magic videos pretty much daily and um yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and you can show your friends family your dog if you have one your fish, your um, pet spider. Okay, maybe I got a little too carried away, but you can basically show anybody you want this trick. So, um, yeah, see you guys later.